Welcome back to the talk tonight. Can we get a round of a pause? <laughs> for our favorite furry forecaster, Doppler the weather cat. I didn't write that. The credit all goes to my producer, Alice, uh, for That's that one, one here. That's Very nice, one. Alice. Um, Doppler and Wayne, his buddy, they join us uh, for the talk tonight as we say goodbye to our furry yeah. friend here. It's hard to believe, Wayne, that after so many years, I mean, he truly has been a fixture, that he is yeah. sailing off into the sunset. I guess he's just tired after all these well, years. Well, I mean, it, you know, as we've been saying, few people realize how old Doppler is. And, you know, like any human, I think uh, we would want to retire when we're still relatively in good shape yeah. and still relatively you know, get around and not too many health ailments, which is where Doppler is right now. But he's, uh, uh, you know, 16 and a half years old, uh, you know, that we've had him and in cat years that's 87. Oh wow so he's up so there. So he, he's he's getting up there time for Doppler to uh, get out of the limelight and uh, don't have to worry about uh, on the weather deck you know the noise of the planes and the car doors and the squealing tires and all that uh, and uh, just uh, take it easy. You know there's this, a, a real innate bond between you and Doppler. I mean gosh he doesn't even want to turn around and say hello he is just stuck <laughs> to you like a glove. He loves you Wayne. What is it? I mean how did you guys develop such a close bond over the years? Well I mean I adopted him at the uh, at the SPCA but you know I can't think that that was it I mean it, it and it's not been just me that's taking care of him because you know I'm not here 24 7 you know he but, lives but, here for those of you who yeah. don't know some people wonder he has his own room yes. and he does have access to the building so he wanders around and says hi to everybody all he day. He sure does and uh, you know when I went and got him to bring him down here for uh, this segment he was up uh, sitting on the chair in the newsroom uh, beside one of our producers and uh, you know just uh, waiting and that's what Doppler has done he's uh, he's had a, a pretty easy life uh, there you go right there that's how the front lobby looks and that's normally how Doppler would look right there in the front lobby as, as the official greeter of the station, I think. It's amazing, too, because a lot of times when we have groups who come in here, whether they're older groups or some of the you know young Boy Scouts and things, they immediately ask, do you really have yeah. a cat here? Where does he live? Tell us the story about yeah. him. I and mean, people are just so fascinated oh, yeah. by Doppler. Well, I mean, it's uh, let's face it, it's uh, somewhat unusual. Uh, there are a few, <laughs> you know, there are a few TV stations in the country that uh, two, three that I know of that, uh, you know, have weather dogs. And of course, we've got Jack, the sports dog, uh, you know, and, and they belong to people. Uh, Doppler is uh, basically the station's uh, cat, even though he's been akin to, you know, I guess more closely to a, a handful of us and others. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's just an unusual situation when you have any animal at a TV station. It is, and, and let's go to the iPad, because so many of you have been leaving your thoughts and your comments as Doppler sails off into retirement. Here's a picture of Lisa and Peter with Doppler this morning, and look, they even got um, some cupcakes <laughs> with his face on it, which is just so cute. Very nice. So if you scroll down, we've posted um, a wonderful collection of photos and things that we've gathered over the years, and, and nice to see, Wayne. It's really amazing. Doppler used to be part of the promotions here at the station, yeah. too. I mean, it's amazing to see his picture on newspaper clippings yeah. and things. Yeah, well, and he, and I wrote, uh, I answered uh, some folks on Facebook right there, or somewhere on there, that that picture, which I totally forgot about, that was in the newspaper uh, a while ago, uh, that Doppler there is actually not Doppler. That was cat number three before we had named Doppler. And oh. uh, that's the cat that actually had, because uh, you see on the name tag, it just says the weather cat. Right. Okay. So this is before uh, this Doppler here and before we actually had a name for the weather cat. But people say, Eve saying happy retirement Doppler. Yeah. People are just so excited. Chuck, have a great retirement Doppler. We will miss you. Uh, Ella Wilcox, will Doppler be retiring with Wayne? Happy retirement. No, not, <laughs> not go, but I would imagine, Wayne, that you're gonna be visiting with him. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, Doppler will have, you know, we've already got him, uh, you know, he's set up gonna have a great home with a loving family locally and uh, you know with plenty of human interaction and, and other animals and and uh, he's gonna have a great old time in retirement and I was tweeting out to somebody too because uh, they were asking about Doppler and uh, and I said uh, I'll be watching the mail for uh, postcards from Doppler uh, you know on the beach in Daytona so yeah. vacationing or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well I will always remember Doppler trying to eat the flowers on my desk I think that's yeah. the memory that a lot of us will take away we always had to put our flowers up high because he like tried to munch on them. Yeah that, that's not so good for animals. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, Doppler, best of luck, buddy. We're going to continue our farewells to Doppler throughout the newscast tonight. You can leave your memories on our CNYCentral.com Facebook page. All right.